Right guys, we're here up there again. I've had to scramble over all these wet rocks and I made the wrong choice in wearing Wellington boots and honestly I've fallen over more times than what I can count. But as you see, it's actually worth it. That's the gorgeous south and it's quite a do it's it's normally a white torrent and we've had a fair bit of rain, which we have had some rain. But um, it's not too bad. Heads off down that way. I've got to be really careful because I'm perched on really wet rock. Um, I just I know the composition. I've been here more times than I can count. To be honest, but it keeps dragging me back because I love the place. Uh, as you can see, it's absolutely fantastic. Proper deep gorge and a place with Celtic fairies. Well. It looks like it's starting to rain. Um, I'm kind of perched on the edge of this Cersei uh, wet rock. I'm in the process of doing a long exposure. Um, just because I can, really. To be I think weather wise it's not looking great, so try and get as much done as possible and scramble back without getting too many bruises. Just scrambled from that rock was shutting house into into the river and I think we're gonna head down river now that way try and find a spot to have a cup of tea where it's not too wet because it looks like the heavens are gonna open um, so there's a good panoramic of Fairy Glen itself Love this bit here. A um, little bit late in the season now. A couple of weeks ago, I love trees where they're being bright, orange and yellows. Really lovely place. So now we've had our picnic stop. Um, just having a cup of tea before we move on to the next venue. I don't. Bit of a shelter there if you need it. So, if you've never been to Fairy Glen before, you really need to put on your places to visit for North Wales because honestly, there's a small charge to get in that's for car park and access because it is on it is on private land. But to be honest, it's worth it. It's not it's not it's not expensive. It's quite cheap. It's worth it. it really is.